was happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got a huge update coming from fulton county georgia this went the disc attorney miss fanny willis guys things have only been getting worse and this update is no different guys we've got her being hit with something even worse than what's going on with nathan wade and this is coming from terrence bradley nathan wade's ex-attorney he is now testifying on the stand previously had him silenced they had a gag on mr terrence bradley where he couldn't testify or bring forth any evidence but now that it's all changing and miss fanny you know her hysterical takes or hysterical actions are not working court anymore we got scott McAfee shutting her up in court live on camera i'm excited to get into this you know and see this exchange with terrence bradley spilling it all and fanny will is so uncomfortable guys we're gonna get straight into the clip and i'll get my thoughts on the back end guys so definitely stick around to the end so guys get my thoughts on the back end and also so youtube pushes this video out definitely stick around until the end but yo let's get straight into it before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button guys and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all team funny willis got a devastating defeat uh they were trying to keep terrence bradley nathan wade's ex-lawyer shut up and judge McAfee is saying no you will come out and testify the things that they don't want you to talk about welcome to doug in exile this is where the happy patriots are because pretty soon we're all going to be chanting funny got fired funny got fired it's coming but Fonny's tactic, it's all falling apart. And they are, uh, they've got to be hair on fire, screaming in hysteria this weekend. We're going to find out this afternoon just what he says. Here's the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Judge says, law partner must testify about Wade's relationship with Willis. I, I believe it's over at when that happens. A judge is determined that Nathan Wade's former law partner and divorce lawyer must tell the court what he knows about the special prosecutor's relationship with District Attorney Fonnie Willis. A decision that could produce more bombshell testimony as defense attorneys seek to disqualify the DA from prosecuting the Fulton County election interference case. So you can see now, this is going to undermine the entire case. It's because Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade probably perjured themselves. You can't go after Trump if you're one of those types of district attorneys that have no credibility on the stand. Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee's chambers notified attorneys in the case by email late last night that certain communications Terrence Bradley had with Wade are not protected by attorney-client privilege, according to numerous people who read the email. Bradley could be compelled to testify as soon as this afternoon. McAfee's decision followed a closed door meeting between the judge, Bradley, on Monday and lasted nearly an hour and 20 minutes. That didn't take long, did it? You know, if they committed perjury, if they filed false statements in court, uh, they could face uh, personal uh, charges. Uh, they could be referred to the bar. I mean, right. this, the stakes are very high here disbar them throw them in jail charge them it's going to be great i'm not even looking for revenge against fonny willis i don't hate her or nathan wade i want them to leave trump alone i want trump to run for president that's the bottom line of this thing you little nickel dime corrupt fulton county a grift organization should not be dictating national politics all right Bonnie Willis may be facing perjury charges, music to my ears. What kind of trouble is she in? What do you make of these new revelations? This is damning. At the very best, it's troubling. It seems to completely contradict the testimony of both Bonnie Willis and of Nathan Wade. And because of that, this could be a complete game changer in terms of how Judge McAfee decides to rule. Oh yeah, it's a big game changer. Here we go. Insurrection Barbie writes on Twitter, I love that Trump's lawyer waited until Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis perjured themselves on the stand before releasing the geo-tracking data. See, that's why they delayed releasing the data. They were waiting for them to tell a bigger and bigger lie because their goal is just solely to get them removed. So they have to trick Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade to give up uh, uh, an even bigger lie that will get this case reversed. That's what I believe the tactic is. I think it's brilliant. Trump's legal team is, on, is doing great on this. 
Here's USA Today. Could a Georgia judge derail the Trump election fraud case? Fani Willis decision looms large. The bottom line legal experts say is that while Willis is very unlikely to be disqualified based on a strict interpretation of the Georgia law, I disagree. The time spent on hearing evidence about her affair with special prosecutor Nathan Wade threatens to push the actual election fraud trial back to either right before or after the election day. That's the strategy, guys. That's all there is to it. They just in the Trump team, which would included Mike Roman, had them go after Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade's affair. Just in that distraction, it bought Trump time. See that? It pushed this whole thing. We're arguing about Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade and Nathan Wade's lawyer. And can he go behind the scenes with Judge McAfee and have a private session to talk about whether if he had attorney client privilege? See, it's dragging out. It's dragging out. It's pushing. It's delaying. It gets Trump elected before they have to address this stuff. Now, the Willis uh, team kept on preventing questions yep. uh, from the opposing counsel, who is trying to show that it was, in fact, this attorney that supported their original motion, that this relationship began long before Nathan Wade was hired. Now we're getting to the actual he said, she said. That is, that if this friend slash lawyer of Nathan Wade's knows that the relationship started earlier, here, here comes the repercussions. Phil Holloway, I look forward to joining uh, Megan Kelly on Cirrus FM. We will talk about what to expect today in the hastily scheduled hearing on the motion to toss Fonnie Willis from the Atlanta Trump RICO cases. It was hastily decided probably because the new evidence that they have from Terrence Bradley is going to get her thrown. Willis's career may hinge on this. Very good, here's a meme. Ignore the content of my character, look at the color of my skin. That's all funny Willis has left now, is the color of her skin. Preview, here's a, here's a preview of what to expect from the Fannie Willis disqualification hearing that re resumes today. But first, why does it matter? Counsel for Trump co-defendant Michael Roman says, Willis has made the legal process, quote, fundamentally unfair, a due process violation. Let's look at that violation. There's the big legal document. Here's the quick quote. The state had an obligation to protect all at all costs the fundamental fairness of the process and to avoid even the appearance of impropriety regarding the state's motives or the district attorney's personal or financial incentives in prosecuting the case. But the state did not do that, did it? So this goes back to living your life beyond reproach. She had to keep her nose pretty clean and she didn't do that. Over the past several years, the district attorney has done the opposite, using the media to turn the screws on each of the defendants, that's like Jenna Ellis, long before any trial juror was called to serve, these media appearances by public elected prosecutor are incredibly improper, but more importantly, they were designed to tear down the defendant's pre-trial constitutional protections. Now, whether we're gonna finally see those questions answered is something we'll be watching closely today. Uh, but the case seems to be unraveling for Willis and and Wade. Uh, in their testimony, there was a great deal of contradiction, uh, particularly for Mr. Wade. Some of his earlier sworn statements uh, appear to be irreconcilable with, with the facts that he later testified to. That's a nice way of saying that people believe he may have lied uh, under the earlier sworn statements. That's pretty serious because these two are prosecuting people for making false statements and filing false papers with courts. Because Fonnie Wills and Nathan Wade made false statements and filed false paperwork, they can't go after Trump for the same thing. It's pretty simple. Uh, real quick, so Bradley's his partner and his divorce attorney. If he comes out and tells the truth that this relationship started earlier, that will corroborate what the former friend said. Oh, here's the former friend that Kilmeade's talking about. American Savage says, quote, the testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact, unquote. That's Fonnie Willis's own word. The testimony of one witness can prove a fact. And here's the testimony of one witness. That is Fonnie Willis's former friend that said the relationship with Nathan Wade and Willis, she said it under oath, started before they said it did, 
because Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade perjured themselves. I predict that they will get thrown off the case. The question is, will the whole case get thrown out? That's the only thing left to discover. Yo, there we have you guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. Definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out. I want you guys to go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, you guys. The walls just continue to close in on that district attorney in Fulton County, Georgia, Miss Fannie Willis. Um, and rightfully so, guys. We all know she has been misusing and abusing her power as a district attorney, guys. Not only to bring about and weaponize the Department of Justice against Donald Trump, but also to gain personal and financial benefits off of her job, guys. You know, taking lavish trips with her boyfriend, Nathan Wade. And then they get up there on the stand and they lie about the extent of their relationship, guys. And it's all coming out. There's too many witnesses, too many accounts. We've already got the one witness that's a friend. And now we've got Terrence Bradley, the ex-attorney of Nathan Wade, um, and his divorce lawyer, who is now coming out and able to talk. Scott McAfee, you know, ruling that what he has to say is pertinent in this case and he will be testifying going forward oh my goodness you guys i can't wait till terrence bradley gets up there and spills all the beans guys ruins the day for miss fanny willis and her boyfriend nathan way getting them both tossed off the case really wouldn't be surprised to see if you know fanny willis was the spar as just attorney guys just based off you know her actions you know let's not forget she was put up to this task by you know a higher power she was not put up to this task to be abusing her power and doing extra stuff i believe this was all on her own doing um and they're going to be very upset that she is now foiled and ruined this whole case this whole case is supposed to tie up trump's efforts of becoming president later on this year but it has done the exact opposite trump has done nothing but gained historic amounts of you know support let's not forget guys this is also the mugshot case where fanny willis drug him down in the fulton county jail to get his picture taken that infamous monk shot went triple platinum guys bringing about so much support and onset donations guys so like i mean this case has done the exact opposite of what she was put in place to do and now she's a ruining her career also on top of all of it guys really couldn't make these things up if we tried fanny willis has done absolutely the most in her position to abuse and misuse her power as the district attorney guys definitely hop in the comment section let me know your thoughts i think we're finally seeing the end of miss fanny willis's reign over fulton county george and the terror she's been having on those folks guys definitely hop in the comment section let me know your thoughts also make sure you guys hit that share button and share this to as many facebook friends as possible also make sure you guys hit that like button guys it does not cost a thing hit that like button for your boy and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one we Yo, what's happening, Retro Fam? Are you guys looking for a way to connect with your boy Retro and the Retro Fam on a day-to-day -day basis? Look no further, guys. Memberships have now been launched where you can gain exclusive access to chat with your boy Retro and the community and gain perks, guys. Just hop in the description box below um, and check out the link for memberships, guys. You can subscribe on a monthly basis to chat and have exclusive perks with your boy Retro and the Retro community, guys. Check that out in the description box today.